So I'm here at Dowie Abbey and I'm here with Aidan Hughes, who is a long-term member of the lay community and who is our leader of the Easter team. And I'm just catching up with Aidan to find out about our plans for Easter 2023. So Aidan, tell me, what have we got planned for our upcoming Easter celebrations? So as a community, we've been going to um, Kevin Lee, which is a a wonderful retreat centre in Wales, um, in mid Wales. We've been going there for over 15 years um, and we'll be going there again in 2023. Um, and we go there as a community um, to spend time together um, celebrating the Easter Triduum from Monday Thursday through to Easter Sunday. Um, so yeah, we would um, really love to welcome old faces and new faces um, as we gather together in mid Wales. And uh, tell me, Aidan, what's the theme for this year? Have you decided? So the, uh, the theme um, for this year's Easter is really exciting. It's going to be um, Awake, O Sleeper, and Rise from the Dead, um, which I think is, is wonderful. It's, um, yeah, it's from a reading that we have on, on Holy Saturday as part of the big, um, the big drama of the Triduum that we celebrate. Um, and so I think there's so much to be explored there. It speaks of... Um, reinvigorating the church, um, taking action um, to um, save the climate and to um, live in a better relationship with our world. It speaks of resurrection um, and the hope that we all, that we all have. Um, so I think it will be a, a wonderful um, prompt for our, for our celebrations. And tell me, Aidan, do you feel reinvigorated after Easter? Always, every year. Um, yeah, it's, it's a feeling of um, well, being with the community is a feeling of, of coming home um, in many ways. Um, and yeah, I always, I always leave Kevin Lee feeling really alive. Um, and then that sort of gradually wears off and I look forward to the next year. <laughs> um, but it is always, it's always really wonderful. We're at a really difficult time in terms of cost of living. Tell me, how much is it going to cost for someone to come to mm. Kevin Lee so people arrive on the Thursday in the evening. Yeah, that's right. And then they stay until Sunday after lunch. Yeah, yeah, so three nights. And where is Kevin Lee? So Kevin Lee's in, uh, in mid Wales, so surrounded by uh, beautiful countryside, rolling hills. Um, and tell me, how much is it going to cost them for people to come? Um, so the full price for adults will be £215 for the, the three nights, the full. Easter weekend. Um, for students and unwaged people it will be £60, um, so the community is generously subsidising that. Um, and for kids it will be £50. Um, yeah. So we are deliberately as a community making it cost attractive for young adults and unwaged people to know that there's somewhere they can go for their Easter that they can afford. Yeah, yeah, we yeah we don't want money to be um, a problem um, or a barrier for anyone to, to come. So um, we will do everything that we can to make it accessible for people. Some people are going to come by train. Some people are going to come by car. But some people are going to walk there. Yeah. So tell me about who these people are who are going to walk to Kevinley. So yeah, for for years and years. Um, We've had crosswalks, um, which is a, it's a pilgrimage um, in Holy Week, um, starting on um, Palm Sunday um, and walking through to Maundy Thursday and you arrive at Kevinley um, and you walk in a group carrying a cross. Um, so that will be happening again this year, um, we'll have a young adults crosswalk and we'll have a crosswalk for older adults, um, all going from different locations and meeting um, at sort of tea time on the last day to walk into Kevin Lee together um, and be greeted by everyone who's already arrived from the community. And when people do that walk, do they have to carry their own rucksacks or is there some type of provision for carrying all that heavy stuff? There, there is, um, we have <laughs> generous minibus drivers who uh, carry everyone's luggage. Um, so all you have to take is your, your coat and your sun cream, we hope. And what's the maximum number of miles per day in which people actually walk on this crosswalk? Gosh, uh, oh, I usually think in kilometres, so I'm having to do some maths. Um, <laughs> 
20 kilometers around about per day so that's that's what 13 miles right um but but again um we wouldn't want that to be a barrier for people so um often people will do stints in the minibus if that's if that will help them right if they feel like they need a bit of a rest or something like yeah. that yeah. yeah 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 and do you recommend going on a crosswalk oh yeah so much <laughs> um yeah it's fantastic it's it's such a good feeling arriving at Kevin Lee, having journeyed with other people through the week. You get to know them really well. Um, and yeah, it's just a wonderful time to spend appreciating God's creation, um, appreciating other people and sort of being in fellowship with them um, and just spending time um, listening, listening to the voice of God. Um, it's such a, yeah, it's such a reflective time and a time away from all the different noises that we, that we hear. Um, so it's, it's amazing, it's fantastic. And tell me, Aidan, what are you most excited about this year's Easter? Um, I'm just really excited to be with the community. Um, yeah, I, like I said earlier, it's, it's a bit like coming home every time I meet with the community. Um, and, <clears throat> um, and over the years, our, our number has grown and we, we're always welcoming new people. Um, so it's, it's fantastic to meet new members of the community and people who are interested in what we're doing, um, get to know them. Um, and we get to come together as a, a group of people and celebrate the most incredible story um, that we're part of, like we're characters in this story that is still ongoing. Um, and that's an incredible thing to be able to do together. And so, in the course of the three days, we do the entire liturgy of the Tridium. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we, it's all one big celebration um, from Monday Thursday through to Easter Sunday, um, and it's, it's this, yeah, it's this incredible dramatic retelling um, of um, the Passion, um, yeah, from the Last Supper through the Passion and. Um, the waiting on Holy Saturday and then the immense joy of the resurrection um, that yeah. gives us all new life. So new life. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much Aidan. It's really great for, to have this chance to talk to you and I really hope that people watching this will be interested to come to our Easter www.lcsb.uk is where you can find out more about what's going on Easter 2023 in Caffinley.